So hi, Willem Grimes Podcast. I'm Shane. I'm Glory. And we're here with... And I'm Petty Hendricks. And we have some exactly. questions today. And we're going to chat about his new EP, Choose Life. So congrats on that. By the way, how do you feel about the response to it so far? Oh, man, I feel good, man. Just got to keep uh, working, though. It could get way better. Just got to keep grinding. So, But the response, getting a lot of emotion, a lot of feedback from the uh, people. So it's, I'm okay. I'm happy with it. Hell yeah. Fuck the EP yeah. fucking rocks. Oh, yeah, it bangs. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay, so is, is there any meaning behind the EP title or cover art? Yeah, uh, the Choose Life title. Like, it's just, I come from a uh, rough area in Milwaukee. And I'm just showing, like, people that look like me, like, a better way of life. Like, you know, we could just mm-hmm. choose life. Like, everything is a choice, you know? Mm-hmm. No matter how bad it gets, you always can make the right choice. And I know, mm-hmm. like, coming from where I come from, it's easy to make the wrong choice. So I'm just mm-hmm. trying to show people, like, another perspective of life, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Another way, you know? Yeah, love it. Absolutely. And then the cover art. The cover I just really looked at the, the cover means stuff because that was like my first video shoot in LA and mm-hmm. that was to be okay. And that's how I got signed and discovered. Yeah. But I guess when I was looking up on the cover and that's me coming from the bottom, like looking up at the top, but it's really, mm-hmm. it's really like looking within. So choose life is just like looking within, grabbing something, mm-hmm. you know, just going to different route, man, not even a route, just choosing something, you know? So yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Wonderful. Love it. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about your writing process for the EP? Oh, the writing pr- process, it was easy. It was just like a two-year gap, you know? Be mm-hmm. Okay was already done. That's like the sixth, seventh version of Be Okay. It's yeah. so many, like, it's so many elements to Be Okay, but that was just like a two-year of my life and like two years, like, crunched up uh, in that EP, you know? Mm-hmm. So the writing process was just really like just a timestamp, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay. Gotcha. Are so you know you're calling it a timestamp, but with there being a gap of like this two years and it's now finally out, do you still relate to what you're talking about and saying on the CP? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's really like yeah, I, 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 yeah, I can relate. But I'm move, I'm moving I'm moving on though. But of I, course, I can yeah. yeah I can relate though. Like that was like a a real time in my life. Like just to choose something, the mm-hmm. heartbreak, everything. So yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And if you could tell us like a little bit about your writing process, like how you approach kind of creating a song, that would be awesome. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just go in the studio with the mm-hmm. producer. Like I have an idea, I hum stuff. Like if you play like a guitar riff, I hum stuff. Sometimes I bring in uh writers to help with because sometimes I get cloudy yeah. or they say stuff a different way, you know. If I probably they'd be like, Oh, what if you say it like this? So mm-hmm. you know, it's really like a co- collaboration. Like I'm I don't mind like Collab and ideas, like, it could be, like, somebody walking past and throw the idea. I'm like, oh, what you say? Like, so it's yeah. just all about an energy thing with me, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Of course. Yeah. So you come in with some ideas. So you don't really come in ever with, like, a fully fleshed out song. It's always just kind of created in the studio. Yeah, it's just off the energy. Yeah. Most of the time, it's really, like, it's rare that I come with, like, with a whole song written. Yeah. Gotcha. So, yeah, it's just, like, start with guitar riffs, your drums, some type of beat, and then go from there. Just build. Mm-hmm. Makes gotcha. sense. Makes sense. Uh, so, what song off the EP took longest to write, and which one is your personal favorite? The one that took longest to write, it might be uh, "Choose Life," the title song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a real moment. It was hard for me to write it. I had to go back. Like, even though it was like an eat when it came out, it was an easy thing when I got it. But that mm-hmm. was like the one that took the most time. Yeah. Uh, to choose like the title track and my favorite song is uh in my worst saving because i had to like really dig deep and kenna helped me write it mm-hmm. and i just talked about my life and we both we just put the words together so that in my worst saving was like painful mm-hmm. to write but i think that was like the best the best writing you know yeah, Hell yeah. Well, my yeah. best my favorite song and, yeah. and what what about choose life took a second to crack because i know you mentioned like once you got it going it came out easy but what about it was so hard to to find the words to say yeah, just, just, just to start like the cold nights in minnesota like just to get it started and i started it like four times over you know so mm-hmm. once i got to start it just flow even the uh the bridge part like because that's actually like a choice too like uh you know you want to start all over like so just because sometimes when i write and i write something like i feel the Personally, me, I try to change it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it'd be people like, no, that's that's good, you know. So 
I'm still developing as an artist too. Like it, it's never like a time you fully develop as an artist. It's like it's uh, learning is endless as far as artistship. So I'm just trying to still find myself and forever find myself. Yeah, and they hope it uh, resonates to the people that listen to it. Yeah, there, there's no point in getting like complacent and sticking to to one thing. Like that, just it gets stale eventually. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I agree, hundred percent. Absolutely. Sure. Oh, yeah. And touching on favorites for a second, my personal favorite off the EP was Be OK. And I'm so curious how you were able to loop in uh, Water Parks in addition to Good Charlotte on that remix. So okay. that. Uh, that was that's a crazy list. So I, I told the story many times. So I was there at home mm -hmm. and then I wrote Be OK in front of like a whole bunch of like quote unquote hood dudes. Mm -hmm. They were telling me like, no, I don't do it. I, I doubled down with the studio. Like, no, I'm doing this. Yeah. When, I shot a bogus video, like $100. I had three cameramans. Like, they was all my friends. Like, hold these cameras. Yeah, yeah. And my guy, Eddie, he, was, he, he called me. He was like, we should uh, we should do it over. And I'm like, well, I just spent my last $100. Send me to put it. So I edited it. Yeah. I put the best, like, 15, 30 seconds on the internet. Then Josh Madden ended up calling me. So mm -hmm. I flew down there. I did Be OK again. Mm -hmm. and did the video. Mm -hmm. And then I, ben, me and Benji was talking. I didn't even know water parks. And then he's like, I got a gift for you. Mm -hmm. And then they sent me, I was back at home. And he was like, man, we're going to sign you and everything. And sent me the remix. And I was like, oh, but me and Austin really got like this after that. So yeah. it was like, it was like a gift. Like, just like, just like say I'm working hard and I was like grinding. Yeah. Hell yeah. That was a good gift too. So I, I appreciate That's fucking awesome. Yeah, hell yeah. For, for the part. But Austin like this, Austin, they, he a real good dude and all that. So he, he helped me. Like I've been on tour. Like he brought me out on dates with him and all that, like on tour. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, he did a lot, man. So I appreciate him. That's yeah, awesome. Oh, the whole awesome. water parks, the whole water parks, not just oh, us. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that, yeah. That's how we found out about you because we are we're both big water parks fans, and your hey, team hey. your team pitched pitched you to us. Yeah. Um, and I was like, absolutely, like that's the guy that so that cool. had oh, yeah, Austin yeah, on the yeah, song. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love water parks, man. Hey, they, right. stay, they stage performance crazy too. So yeah, I learned a lot from them. Like uh, being backstage on tour, I always mm -hmm. tell the story. Like I thought. I come from, I come from, thought it was gonna be like a million girls. Like, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And when I went back, there was some structure and, and it was like, oh, this is how you do it. Like this is how you stay in. Yeah. This is how you had longevity. Like not a thousand mm -hmm. people around for no reason. It's like every yeah. moving piece back there, like was for a reason. So mm -hmm. damn right. Absolutely. Yeah. It'd be it'd be cool to see Good Charlotte back there, uh, like uh, on a tour again or something. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They they, they sure. gotta they gotta hit the road at some point. It's long overdue. Exactly. Hey, man. Maybe I'm dropping a secret. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm not picking up what you're putting. I guess I just Okay, okay. Stir, yeah. sure, stir sure, in sure. the pot. Stir in the pot. We're going to have articles okay. being written, and it's just, exactly. you're just spewing like, shit. <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. So for this question, I want you to pick your favorite lyric off the EP and tell us the meaning behind it. In my worst day. That's my favorite lyric. And it's like, man, you ever, you ever I know probably everybody felt to it. Like, you ever been so down, like, giving up suicide or anything i think am i worth saving and, and, and it's like i'm asking myself a question i'm answering the question like i am worth saving and, and everybody worth saving like so if you need help like just just seek help anything like it ain't worth it man it's too many people that love you and everything when you get down and out and start uh, contemplating thoughts like that or anything and i'm talking to like a whole group of people that go through depression and everything like so am i worth saving was that line that like son chills down my some that simple, you know, that was mm -hmm. the one that got me. Absolutely. Yeah. Hell yeah. Damn right. And would you be able to tell us where your headspace is at while you were creating this EP? Man, making it out. <laughs> like mm -hmm. desperation, like my only shot, like, you yeah. know, where I come from, you don't get these type of opportunities like with Benji Man, like or Josh and them reach out to you on Instagram off a of, off a of fifteen second post. So mm -hmm. this was like all or nothing for me, like you see it like I can't fumble this, so that's my headspace. Like we got to, I gotta win. Like we gotta win, you know. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. For real. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um. So, how do you recommend your fans to listen to these, to listen to this EP for the first time? Should you do in the car with friends and talk with headphones on? Is work at EP party EP? What do you personally recommend? I don't know. What you What you recommend? I don't know. Let Let oh, all answer this. I, I think first and foremost, they need to listen to it from uh front to bottom, us uh, from top to bottom. A million mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. And I guess I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think 
I guess the headphones, I listen to it with headphones. Yeah, like, yeah. I my song, like some noise cancellation, and I just walk around. I got yeah. this thing where I just paste a lot, so I just be walking around vibing. Just be walking. I don't know. That's yeah. what I think. What y'all think? Me personally, I'm a big headphones person. Um, okay. I've also really learned that I love listening to new music, like in like public transportation. So like trains and shit, planes. Okay, yeah, yeah. Really, like I don't know. It's just the the energy of just so much is yeah. happening. But I have my noise canceling headphones on and just new music, so my brain is just hyper focused on it. I love oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. For me, I'd say probably in the car because that's where I spend a lot of time driving. So that's where yeah. I get to consume most of my music. So I would say the car or right here because I have decent speakers uh, uh, for my computer as well. Okay, rock out. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Rock, rock out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, damn right, damn right. Uh, so this one should be super, super quick off the top of your head. I want you to describe this EP for new listeners in three words. No more, no less. Perseverance, mm-hmm. heartbreak, and struggle. Damn right. Those are good. Off Hell the yeah. dome. Mm-hmm. Um, and in that same train of thought, is there a certain feeling or emotion you want listeners to have while going through the EP? I just want it's just a raw feeling, like just a real feeling. I want it, I want I hope this EP like pulls something out or uh, somebody, even if it's I want uh am I worth saving a uh, happy sometime, like a, a fun thing. But I went through a like a lot of heartbreak during this like trans like mm-hmm. like this pocket in my life. So mm-hmm. like I know they like super like poppy songs but if you listen like it's really like about relationships and ups and downs and stuff so yeah yeah so just a raw raw feeling like a raw emotion just trying to pull something out of you like oh i can relate to that that part of the song or something you know as long as long as they're feeling something that's all that matters to you Mm. yeah yeah Yeah. gotcha i love it and are you able to touch on any particularly challenging or standout moments during the creation of this ep positive or negative Positive, just getting in the room with like other, like this is my first time. Cause I used to do like, I like that be okay was like a YouTube be, you know, before they juiced it up, like got in the studio, like real producers. So this is my first time, like really in the studio with like real producers and stuff, like, yeah. and, 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 and learning the way, like learning different ways, like even having uh somebody write, like I, I wasn't like, that ain't what I did. I write all my songs with it. When when that happened, I was like, oh, I started seeing other creators that they process. Like, I got a certain way I I write songs, and and then I started seeing like some like, oh, you just talk about your day, like talk, and it's like, and they we could write songs like that. So I'm learning, like, yeah. like I'm learning how to be better, and this 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 is a wonderful thing though. Like, you know, like you said, don't get too complacent. Like, I'm just an open person, like off the energy. Like, I could be around y'all, and y'all can give me ideas, mm-hmm. and, and, you know, we rock. Yeah, yeah, I got I'm you. Right. To be great. I'm just trying to be the best version of myself I could be. So I'm trying to be great as possible. You know, as far as this thing, let me go. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Now, obviously, you know, you you said you you've learned a lot um, from you know getting to work with co-writers and and producers in in the room. But did you struggle at all with like initially opening up your process to like other songwriters and working with new people? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I struggle because I'm so used to doing stuff so way uh, one yeah. way. So yeah. I I was struggling at first, but the end result to the first song, and I think it was Flowers and Pears, I realized, like, oh, well, let's do it. I yeah. was all in, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I got yeah. you. I wasn't all trying right. to impose my will no more. I was all <laughs> yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You, <laughs> saw the the pro- you saw yeah. the end product, and you're like, yeah. I don't know yeah, what I'm this happened. Yeah, I'm going to let the energy, yeah, energy, and I'm going to let everybody be great. Like, I ain't trying to make the beat. I'm going to let everybody just, I'm going to do my thing. Everybody mm-hmm. do their thing. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. There you yeah. go. Yeah, I love it. Um, so for this question, I want you to picture you're on tour. You had a gas station for a rest stop. What is your snack of choice? Oh, I love Twix. Twix? If you love, if you love me, Twix. Twix me out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your, what's, your, what's your favorite candy or something? Candy? Or chocolate bar or anything like that. I really like like freeze-dried like sour skittles i'll okay. say that i don't have okay. it often usually what i get at the gas station is one of those cups of grapes really okay. fuck with gas station grapes i don't know they're they're de-stemmed <laughs> they're cold you just pop them like popcorn i mean i yes. i can't complain you know i got a try some with them i'm gonna try some with them for uh, the gas yeah, at, at a good gas station like visually expect the, uh you know inspect them you know, you <laughs> okay. know? Yeah, yeah 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 i actually i almost went for the gas station grapes last night thinking about you and i Dude. Uh, the, the price tag was too high because i was almost home i'm like i'll just eat grapes at home but um, they're not like in a cup and you know like whatever you know um, but but for me I'm, 
I'm not a huge candy guy, although I like Skittles and, and mm-hmm. Twizzlers. But when I'm at the gas yeah. station, I'm going for, for potato chips. Dill pickle if they have them. Mm-hmm. Oh, my, I just had some dill pickle. Hey, did you do that? I can't say the sauce. Like, uh, it's called like tzatziki. Tzatziki. Oh, sauce. yeah. Tzatziki. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. I do uh, dill pickles with that. That's fire. Oh, shit. Yeah. That sounds All good. Yeah. yeah, that sounds good as fuck. Hell yeah. My mom put me on that. Shout out to her. Shout, Shout out. out. Shout out. <laughs> Um, and on the topic of food, if your music project was a dish, what dish would it be and why? Well, it'd be two dishes if I could. It'd be a five-star steak, okay. like root crisp, mm-hmm. and some McDonald fries. And it's ratchet okay. in my, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, 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 it's ratchet. And I gotta, it don't post a fit, but I'll make it fit. So, yeah. you know, that'd be my two choices. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and for the last couple questions, going to shift completely away from music and go straight to death row. Boom. So if you're on death row, what would your last meal be with a drink? I don't know. Let's just get it over with. I don't want a meal. Let's do it. You're just going to, that's just it? just taking the chair. Yeah, that's send it? Me to the, send, me to, send me to the upper room. Mm. All right. All right. Well, All right. Listen, no, hold on. Wait, listen, what would y'all last meal be? Fuck. Oh, my God. I was just asked this question and I forgot. <laughs> do you remember what I said? Oh. It's always so fucking fancy, bro. I don't know. Mine hasn't changed. <laughs> yeah, you you say yours. Mine oh is my God. spaghetti marinara and Sprite cranberry. Um, mm-hmm. And oh. this is this is the prime season for me to go out because Sprite cranberry is back in the stores. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine is a really good Californian burrito. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like what? Yeah. Like what's the sound like? Steak, chicken. Uh, inside, so the inside of a California burrito, I prefer chicken instead of steak because I think it marinates better and just overall the texture flavors okay. better. Um, but it's uh, chicken, cheese, guacamole, uh, pico, uh, salsa, a crema, um, and then French fries. That's what's in it. Listen, I gotta have fries with everything. So my meal, oh, I yeah. do got a meal. It'd be steak, fries, yeah, with the- and, a, and a fifth of Patron. Well, any okay. type of liquor, I need to get super drunk before I go to the chair. Damn hey, right. We start talking about our meal, and all of a sudden you're like, wait, I could go for one wait. more. Yeah, yeah, wait, I could go yeah for we could go for one more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, and if you could live in one fictional world for a week, where would you live? Wakanda. <laughs> Wakanda? Hell yeah. No, damn right. Damn right. The Wakanda. tech there is fucking crazy. Yeah, bro. I just want to fly. I just want to fly in a car. Yeah. Exactly. That's, that's all go. I ask. That's it. Yeah, that's it. I ain't, try, I ain't trying to be the Black Panther, and I just want to fly a car. No, no, no. He can, he can do all that dangerous shit. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'll just, I'll yeah. take the tech though. That's chill as yeah. fuck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't want no weapons. I just want to fly a car. No weapons, none of that. Just, just exactly. give me the fly a car. Yeah, that's and it. Then, and I might leave with kind of, and then come back to America and show off like, look what I got. Show, show off a flying <laughs> car. Yeah. 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 <laughs> fuck yeah. All right. Um, and I've thought of asking last question. Every single person that we've spoken to have said that it is the most important question. What's your favorite color? Black, all black, or yeah, black for sure. So, it used to be, it used to be red, but okay, okay, okay. Black, it used to be all black. Perfect. All, all right, right, wonderful. Hell yeah. Um, so as I said, that's all the questions you have today. Is there anything that you would like to plug? Yeah, man. I just appreciate y'all for having me, man. Life is crazy, man. I want everybody to chase their dream because you never know, man. You could like wake up one day and like next thing you know, begin flued out and just like living a whole different life. You know what I'm saying? And it's not even a money thing or nothing. Like, I don't even want to, like, touch on money. It's an energy thing. So once I got the phone call from Benz, my whole life flipped. The whole energy changed, man. And I'm going to talk about this forever in a day, man. Like, everybody yeah. just get up and just go after it because you never know. Like, I was, like, super, like, poor, like, just ready to give up, man. And boom, it happened. Like, just out of nowhere, like, a phone, a FaceTime call. Like, yeah. and it was Benji Man. So, mm-hmm. man. If if anything you take from this, like it can happen to anybody. I'm no different from nobody. Like, man, just chase your dreams, and I hope you make it and be as big as you want to be, man. So that's all. And I really appreciate you guys for having me too. Of course, of course, this I, is such a pleasure. Yeah, I, I respect it, and and you're very you're very deserving of all the success. And I wish you tons of 100%. success in the future. You've got a great oh, team yeah. behind you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, appreciate y'all. Hell yeah! Mm-hmm. All right. right. Well, thank you, Styles. Been Petty Hendrix, and we have been the Good Noise Podcast.